Hey everybody, this is Samantha Denny with Your ID in Arkansas Catholic. So I was at a little party the other night and having small talk and I realized that sometimes as Catholics we struggle with how to bring our Catholic faith into the conversation without teaching or proselytizing or you know getting in people's faces. So what I like to do is have um, little invitations in my story that I share because everyone's going to ask you, what do you do for a living? What do you like to do for fun? How did you and your husband meet? So there's lots of questions that are asked that you could easily put your faith into to kind of see where someone's at and invite them into a deeper conversation. So I was at this party and someone asked me, how did you meet your husband? Which for me is always a great entry point because this is what I usually say. I say something along the lines of, well, I was an atheist and then converted to Catholicism. And when I did that, I was so in love with Jesus. I went to pray to Jesus and I said, Jesus, send me a man who's six foot 10, uh, smarter than me, a leader in the Catholic church. Um, and it was very specific, like six ten's pretty tall. Um, now if you've met my husband, you know, he's six ten, and he's Catholic and they let him lead in the Catholic church in our uh, Catholic campus ministry almost immediately. So what this does in conversation is it opens up a couple different points. Um, if I'm talking to a Catholic, oftentimes they'll be like, what, you were an atheist? And it gives us a way to kind of talk about deeper faith. If it's a non-Catholic, they'll talk about like divine intervention, like you requested someone 610, that's like less than 2% of the population, and you got exactly that. And so we can talk about how good God is um, in answering our prayer request. So it's important for you to think about your story and think about how you can insert that into a conversation in a very natural way, right? I'm not saying like you come up with a spiel that you gotta like insert in and force it into the conversation. Like that's not what we're wanting. What we're wanting is for you to very naturally share the joy that you've received from God and open up a conversation. If this is something new to you and it makes you a little bit nervous or scared, I would recommend a training called Ananias Training. Um, it's going throughout our diocese right now. I'm running a group at uh, Immaculate Heart of Mary. I hear that they're kind of everywhere. Um, talk to your pastor about bringing in Ananias Training. What it helps you do is figure out spiritual thresholds, like where someone's at on their spiritual journey, and then how to ask good questions and tell your story to help pipe someone's interest so that they uh, become interested in you and interested in Jesus. And it's a beautiful training that will really help them on their journey. So I encourage you, next time you're at a party and you have to small talk, think of some ways that you can, you know, insert your faith a little bit to help other people along in their journey. See you guys next month.